don't want to scare anyone. The girl who survived that night at Camp Blood, that Friday the 14th, some sort of demented creature. What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here for you for another video. Um, I have been tagged in the Screen Factory tag that's going around by the Bearded Slasher and TD Healthy 2015. Both of their links will be down in the description. But it's 10 questions about Screen Factory. Pretty much all of us are Screen Factory fans, so since I was tagged, might as well do the video on my nose itches. Does that mean somebody's thinking about me? I don't know. But, yeah, I got my 10 questions wrote down right here. Um, gonna answer them off. Run this through this, run through this thing relatively quickly. And, yeah, see how my list compares to everybody else. Let's get right into it. Question number one is, what was your first Screen Factory? Um, I did some research on uh, this a little bit. Um, I believe this came out before my other one, but I thought Shocker was my first Screen Factory purchase, but it wasn't, and it was the Halloween set. But then like, this came out, If I may be mistaken, but from what I looked at, I think this came out a couple months before Shocker did. Um, but I bought this just because it was the Halloween set, not because it was a Screen Factory. Um, the only sole purpose was because it was a Halloween box set, and it was Blu-ray, and they've never had one, so... Until after this, and like I said, I bought Shocker as well, but it was my first Screen Factory, and it's an amazing one, and it's one that I hold dearly to me. I love this set. It's one more can be said about it. It's amazing. All right, question number two is how did you find out about Screen Factory? And I'm pretty sure the way I found out about Screen Factory and got into them is through the homie Chad, WrestleManiac 1130. Um... Watching his videos from way back in the day when he started picking up on uh, picking these up and then recognizing that I, the Halloween set was a Screen Factory and then watching more of his videos and becoming friends with him and that's what got me the urge to collect Screen Factories is through him. So yeah, number two would have to be WrestleManiac 1130. Oh, I did you proud on that one because that was a little corny on my part number three is what is your favorite screen factory artwork and it was tough for me to make a decision on this one so i picked my three favorite and they're right there as the, my favorite in the whole entire collection i just couldn't pick just one so the three that i went with are texas chainsaw massacre 2 by joe robinson absolutely killed it on that artwork it doesn't have his usual purples, and, I mean, it has the blues in there, but he's, a lot of his artwork, he has a lot of purples and darker blues and all that in his, uh, in his, in his pictures, but this one kills it, absolutely fantastic artwork on that one, and then I had to, I, I can, cannot choose the Howling, which this one's done by Nathan Thomas Milner. Um, just gorgeous. The werewolves are awesome. Uh, it's one of my favorite screen factories. One more. The artwork is just amazing. And then species. I really, really like the artwork on this one. It's very simple. It's black and the green colors. It just pops to me. Um, was one of my. Uh, I got real stoked when they announced this one. This one was done by the CRP group, but it's one of my favorites. It's very simple compared to the other two. But just sticks out to me and just I love, 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 love that artwork. So yeah, that's number three. Number four is what is your favorite and least favorite blind buys? And my favorite blind buy, and I've never seen it before, probably until a couple months ago when we watched it for the first time. And I've had this released for forever, and it was a total blind buy. And that's Dark Man. Love this movie. I've said it in my last video. If you're an 89 Batman fan, um, you'll love this movie because Sam Raimi wanted to do Batman and he didn't. Tim Burton got it. And Danny Elfman did the music on this one as well. So, yeah, a lot of fun with this one. By far my favorite blind buy um, that I've purchased from Screen Factory. 
That the burning's right there with it too. I should have grabbed that, but Dark Man just barely edges out the burning. My least favorite though is Slither. Did not like this movie at all. Um I don't even know if I want to give it a second chance. It's on the chopping block. If anybody wants wants to purchase this one from me, I'll give you a pretty good deal. I'll give you a good deal on it. Uh, just didn't like it. it. Wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I know it's got an amazing director. It's got a good cast in it, but I just really couldn't get into it. And, and I haven't seen it uh, before till Screen Factory put it out. And just a lot of people like it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So. That's by far my least favorite blind buy. So bad that I'm willing to sell it. Number five is what is your favorite non-collector's edition Screen Factory? And that would be uh, Backcountry for me. This movie is terrifying. We go camping a lot up in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, bears don't get this big as they do in this movie, but it's still absolutely terrifying. Uh, just the tent scene... No spoilers, but if you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Oof, gives me chills. But really like this movie. Lucky enough, I think I found this out at Hastings with the slit. We'll get it off eBay. I don't know. But a lot of fun this, well, a lot of fun this movie. Uh, I don't know if it's a lot of fun. It's kind of, like I said, it's terrifying if you were stuck in this situation. But it is by far my favorite non-collector's edition Screen Factory. That's number... Five. Cinco. Number six is what is your favorite double feature Screen Factory? I only have three of them. I have Terror Vision and Video Dead. I haven't seen neither one of those yet, so couldn't put that down. I have Troll and Troll 2, the out of print edition. Those are horrible, but I have it because it's out of print. But the other one I have is Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3. Uh, 2 is not good at all. It makes no sense compared to the first and third one. But Part 3 is a lot of fun. It is totally worth the the double feature just for part three. Part two, not so much this guy, the killer. It it just didn't make any sense. It was garbage compared to the third and the first one. But since I've seen these, this will be my favorite double feature. Number seven is what would be your dream screen factories. I have three of them. Um, of course. I've talked about it before. It makes sense. it would make sense because they put out Escape from New York, Mad Max, and all that. I'd love to see Screen Factory put out Batman and Batman Returns. Batman Returns makes more sense than Batman, but if you're gonna do Batman Returns, you gotta do Batman and please and then let Joe Robinson do the artwork on it because he'd kill it, especially on Batman Returns. And then also I'd. One of, I'd love to see Bones get released. They've done Tales from the Hood, and Bones would make perfect sense since they've released that. And maybe I like Bone, Bones that edges out Tales from the Hood just barely, but they're both both great great movies. And like I said, since they put out Tales from the Hood, it makes perfect sense to go ahead and put out Bones too. So if you've never seen it, there's a DVD edition. You can probably find it pretty cheap. If you like Tales from the Hood, you'll love Bones as well. So, Batman, Batman Returns, and Bones would be my dream screen factories. Number eight is biggest surprise announcement. I was going to say Candyman, but once Arrow came out and said that they were releasing Candyman, a lot of talk online was that Screen Factory was also going to be putting it out. So, that didn't really surprise me as much as Trick or Treat did when they first announced it. Because that was the first one this year that got the ball really rolling. They announced Trick or Treat, and then I think it was House on Haunted Hill, or maybe that one was before Trick or Treat. But then Creep Show 2, and then, and then Night of the Demons still book, and then Comic Con came, and they just unloaded on everybody and just killed it with their announcements. But Trick or Treat is one that I never saw coming from the Screen Factory putting out. Um, the artwork looks amazing. The poster's going to be nice. I think the poster's already sold out for it. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely picking that one up on the day, on release day. And it really surprised me that they were already able to get their hands on that movie. So, 
Love that movie. It's one of my Halloween favorites to watch. And that's my biggest surprise, especially from this year. And like I said, once they announced that one, it really got the ball rolling. And I mean, September, I mean, even this month, August through the end of the year, it, Screen Factory is just pumping out releases that are just amazing titles. So it's got me real excited. But yeah, this is number eight, biggest surprise. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Number nine is what franchise would you like to see Screen Factory get a hold of and put out a box set of? I've always been a fan of the first two Critters movies. We had we I had a lot of fun with those. Three and four, I fell asleep during three and started snoozing. So and but that was that was a box set that we've all been wanting for a long time. But a dream box set would be if they could ever do it out, which I don't know if they could get the rights to it. Uh, Craigie would know more than anybody. But if they were able to put out a Jaws set, that would just absolutely kill it. Of course, the easy one to go to is A Nightmare on Elm Street, but everybody's saying that one. So I thought I'd throw, throw something out there that probably they won't ever get their hands of. And that's, that's of course, the Jaws set. That would be game changer right there. I mean, the Nightmare on Elm Street set would be really nice, but I think a Jaws set would be would be just nail in the coffin. Give me that shit. And then another one I had, too, was putting out a double set of the Gremlins movies, maybe. I don't know. It seems like it'd be fun. and Especially how Joel Robinson killed the uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night artwork. I think he'd he'd be perfect to do, uh, to do a Gremlins double pack. But, yeah, like I said... Nightmare on Elm Street was an easy one to go with, so I thought I'd throw a little curveball and throw out Jaws and the Green One set. Number 10 is your favorite Screen Factory, and I'm going to go right back to the to the first answer to this, to this tag, and that is the Halloween set. I said it in my top 15 Screen Factories that this is my all-time favorite Screen Factory release. Like, nothing can be said about it. They they made perfection when they made this set. It's absolute perfection. And knowing that they could do something like this for this franchise just gives me high hopes that somewhere down the line, of course, they'll be able to put out the Nightmare on Elm Street set. I doubt it'll never happen with the Friday 13th set. We're, it's amazing that we got a box set of that on its own. But I don't think Screen Factory would ever be able to get the rights to all those. But there's hope for the Nightmare on Elm Street set. But this right here, like I said, perfection. You, you It's just, you, nothing tops it when it comes to box sets. Especially as a horror fan that this collection is. It's perfection. That's the answers to the Screen Factory tag. Once again, appreciate it from the homies Bearded Slasher, TV Healthy 2015. Their links will be down below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about my answers in the comments below. I think mine's, a few of mine are a little bit different than some videos I've seen. So, yeah, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Sub if, you, if you're new. Um, like I said last time, make sure you hit that little notification bell so you get updated on when I... Release my videos if if you want. It's no pressure. But I'm not necessarily going to tag any specific person. Did I say that? Specific person? I think I said that right two times in a row. Whoa. But anyways, I'm not going to tag any one person. I'm just going to tag whoever wants to do the video. So, you're tagged. You're tagged. Tag, you're it. Yeah, whoever wants to do it, feel free. Do the, the, do the, 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 the. Do the Screen Factory tag uh, yourself. But yeah, comment down below, thumbs this video up, sub if you're new. Till next time.